look at this. This is basically Android in your car. And, you know, what I have here is built-in Waze that is running off of this guy right here. It's running off of this guy right here. One of the biggest gotchas that I had this year when we got our new uh, Hyundai Palisade was the fact that even though it supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, it couldn't do it wirelessly. Now, I know first world people problems, but it, every time you gotta get in there, you gotta plug in that power, you gotta wait for it to connect, and before that, then you can take advantage of the nice 12 inch screen that we have in, in the car. And that was pretty annoying. So when Benizi contacted me, he said, look, we got a wireless CarPlay device. Would you like to try it out and make a little video about it? I said, yes, absolutely. Well, what I was really surprised about was that this is not just a regular CarPlay Android Auto device. This is a full on computer system. So I'm in my Palisade and I've noticed in the back it is a USB-C slot and look, you have actually a micro SD slot on one side and actually a SIM slot on the other side, which means that you can have this thing function directly to the internet as long as you put in a compatible SIM card. And that's gonna be the T-Mobile. That's, that's for sure in the car. Now, if you don't know, for whatever reason, on the Palisade Calligraphy Edition, which is the top end line, they don't actually have wireless CarPlay. Instead, you got to plug into this USB slot down here. So I'm hoping that there's going to be enough power that comes out of this to power the unit up so that I get everything working. And uh, this will make for a decent clean install as long as it works. So then I'm going to plug it right into this USB slot right here. Now I have it plugged in and just for the purposes of this video, I'm keeping it up here. I'll probably hide it somewhere else, but I'm gonna power up the car and we're gonna see what happens when uh, the, Andro the Android, this is, this is supposed to run Android 9. That's just my DVR. Please connect a phone that supports Android Auto or CarPlay using an approved. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start up the car right now. It's reading USB. Oh, there we go. It's Auto Kit T Box. Restart to calibrate the screen. Okay. So it's going to restart now. I see that that plugging again basically took over the uh, the whole menu, the whole car menu as far as the functionality. So it is going to be directly off of the OS um, on the uh, on the unit itself. So um, looks like plugged in. It's rebooting now. It's Android, but CarPlay, okay, it's starting. Battery discharge warning, well, that's that's just the car. That has nothing to do with this unit. Okay, look at that. Look at this. Look at what I have down here already. And um, this is directly off of the unit itself. I don't actually have it connected to my phone right now. So if we're looking at things like maps and stuff, uh, it's not gonna have connection right now because, oh, or will it? Will it have connection? Where's it getting connection from? I'm not sure, but but check this out. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna, it's it's basically a whole Android unit here. I mean, this is this is really the Android system already right over here. Now I'm going to connect it over to a Wi-Fi spot. Oh, you can stick in SIM cards and everything. I'm going to connect it to the Wi-Fi here. Uh, I'll connect it to my... All right, I'm going to connect it to the house first, okay? So I'm going to connect to the house. Wow, so it's connected to the house Wi-Fi right now, and I'm actually surprised that it's actually getting connection because I'm way the heck out from the access point. I'm, I'm really far out right now. So, uh, so from here, I should be able to have... Yeah, direct connection, the maps, everything. Look, I'm, I, I even have YouTube on here. <laughs> so I can actually play video directly from this unit. And because this was someone else's account, uh, I'm actually looking at their account right now. And that's that's basically because they never did log out of this, I guess. So this is someone else's account. Just keep in mind, this is a test unit. And, uh, you know, it has other people's information on here right now. So I will probably need to do a reset and uh, wipe that out. Now, what I am interested in is setting this up for uh, CarPlay. 
So setting it up with wireless CarPlay was really simple. It all functions via Bluetooth, which is great. I just go to settings and Bluetooth and pair. Now I have access to three different types of things now. So I have the car interface, which I can just click on to go to home. All right. And then I have the CarPlay, which is basically, this is basically Android in the car right now. Okay. So this is Android in the car which is crazy because with Android in a car, I can download my own apps, I can run my own apps, I can uh, you know, have a full access to the Play Store and it runs directly on here without a phone because the box is the phone running Android 9. As you can see, I can even run Netflix on there. I haven't installed that yet, but you know, I did, I did test YouTube and you know, it's working just fine. Uh, I also have the Google Maps. I got the Waze going on in here. I have everything logged in and it's running here. Now I will say that interface seems to be a little bit slower than uh, than you know a full fledged high end smartphone, but it works fine. There's not there's no lag. Okay, I'm, I'm getting boba tea right now, and I tried the uh, navigation. Everything everything works, and this is all running off of the LTE T-Mobile SIM that I have in there right now. So uh, this can function completely all by itself with all the apps that I can install on here and I can even make phone calls directly from this thing. I haven't tried it yet because I'm not going to. And, uh, you know, I, I can also stick in my own videos and movies and watch directly using the VLC player. Now I didn't put anything in here. So, so this is, this is stuff that someone else already, uh, had in here. So you can see that, oh, well, actually there's nothing in the media library. So, that, you know, it's, it's great. I'm fairly impressed by uh, how this works out. Now, if I want to switch over to my wireless CarPlay to my phone, which I paired via Bluetooth, I just choose Auto Kit, and there it is. This is wireless uh, Apple CarPlay right here. This is directly from my phone right now. Uh, just went to Costco, and you know everything. Everything here is legitimately connected to my phone right now, wirelessly through the box down here, which, uh, you know, I, I took out the SIM from my mobile hotspot and now it's functioning directly off of this nice little box. And you know what's cool? This is cool. This is not even, I mean, there's no fan needed. It's amazing that this can function the way it is. Uh, I do hope that, um, you know, th this can be optimized to be just a little bit faster, but you know, it does, does everything that it said it would do. And I'm completely wireless here. So it's going to be super simple to um, to access without having to plug anything else in. And by itself, I can even make this thing a mobile hotspot. I can go in there and do Android and go into the Android operating system in here and turn on the uh, whole hotspot function. So I just go go there and then I it just, it just functions just like an Android phone. And here's the thing. I'm not too familiar with Android. Okay. But, um, you know, this is, it, it's, it's all here. Everything is here as far as Android 9.0 is concerned. I do believe that I'm running on some, on Android uh, 11 on my own uh, Galaxy Z Fold on here. But as you can see, all this is all set up here. There's some unique settings that you can do in here as far as what it is that you want to choose to set up uh, certain things. Uh, for instance, something that could be useful is when you are... Um, you know, when you're first starting up, what do you want to use for your navigation right away? And, you know, if you're in a place like LA or someplace with heavy traffic, you know, you would use something like Waze, right? Or you can just have it boot up to something else that, uh, that you know, that you want to use. So Maps is actually Google Maps and Waze, of course, is something that you would, uh, that, you know, you can install yourself, Okay. Now, since this is a uh, demonstration unit, it already had some other people's stuff on here, which I completely removed. But, you know, it's it's pretty decent. It's like having your own phone already connected in here with the Wi-Fi. So with that in mind, uh, you know, I, I can definitely recommend this as something that uh, many of you guys would want to consider if you have wired CarPlay and you want to go wireless, particularly, especially what I have right now, which is the uh, Hyundai Palisade. So in summary, I've had the Benizi CarPlay uh, Android box for a couple of days now. I've been driving around the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, we've taken it on a little bit of a longer distance drive, longer meaning a regular commute nowadays. And uh, I find that a lot of the features in there are very useful. One thing I do wish is if it would 
override the complete screen on our factory screen. See, because we have a 12 inch screen, we can only use a small portion of it because the firmware on the Hyundai only allows you to have access, at least currently in, in current firmware, only have access to two thirds of the screen, whereas the right third is for some other screen that you get to choose from. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. I would have really liked to see the full screen. Uh, another thing is that it does take a little while to boot up. All right, we're talking about 10 seconds, okay, to, to boot up. Now, there might be some ways that you can get around that, which I haven't tried yet, including keeping it powered on all the time. So I might have to figure out a way to plug in an external power adapter and also connect it, maybe just a powered hub that will keep it connected because what then I can then do is then use the device as a mobile hotspot round the clock, which would then also give internet access to my dash cams so that those are all online. If you haven't seen my videos about all the dash cams I have installed, check that out. But so that those are all online and I got wireless hotspot wherever I go, all with one device. One other final improvement is that I hope that they add the ability to upgrade the Android uh, Android system, ecosystem past 9.0. Uh, as it is right now, it comes with Android 9 and when you choose to do a system update, you can't do anything past that. But what I will say is that what it can do right now is more than sufficient for, uh, for most people, right? And what is surprising too is that because we're running a full-on Android system, you can get picture in picture in picture. I mean, there's so many mods that you can do by opening this up to a whole Android ecosystem that uh, you know I, I can't even begin to have a short video or shorter video to talk about all the cool little hacks that you can come up with and all the things that you can discover later by having it. Just as long as you understand that you are within the four gigabyte RAM uh, architecture of this system. So. Uh, having Waze on there without having to pull out the phone is has proven to be very useful because then you don't have to fuss with anything. You don't even have to do anything with your phone. I could just put slide that right into my cradle, uh, my Qi wireless charging cradle, wherever it is, or just keep the phone in my backpack, and I don't even have to access it at all. Any of the data plans at all in order to, uh, any of the data plans on my phone at all, excuse me to access ways and get all the functionality that's already built in. The only cost is of course, the few seconds of boot up time that you have when you use the system. And also it's a little bit kludgy jumping in between the different systems. So keep in mind that when I run this on Hyundai Palisade, I now have three different systems on my screen, all right? I got the original car system, which I don't have it boot to default. I have the new Android auto system that it now boots to default and I can change that a little bit in terms of what apps are gonna play in there. And then finally, I have Apple CarPlay, which is the one that takes the longest to boot into. Because keep in mind, every time you turn off your car, at least the way our car works, it shuts off the power to the Benizi, which then of course uh, requires it to do a full boot up sequence. So it will boot up into the Android auto first takes a couple of seconds, and then it will then connect to your phone and activate CarPlay, which then takes another couple more seconds. So you're not completely ready to go right when you start up the car. But that's just something you're gonna have to live with for having such a complex system that, uh, ha you know, operating system needs to boot up every single time. So those are all minor, uh, minor issues, in my opinion, for something of this price range, which right now I see on Amazon is on sale and you get an extra $30 off. So for less than 200, let's see, for about $220, you can get this shipped to you before Christmas. And I think this makes a great gift for anybody who is, does not have wireless CarPlay and also does not drive a BMW. Apparently, BMW does something with their systems that causes this to have a problem and not be able to connect. I don't know, BMW. You need to get with the game here. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful to you. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching. And please be safe. I mean, you get one of these things, you can have Netflix running on it. Uh, if you don't have a good self-driving module, obviously this is, is going to be a huge distraction. Or if you have it running, just make sure you're not the one watching. Make sure it's just the passengers are watching. All right, that's it.